This is a tungsten we have here. And it has a zoom range from 19 degrees up to 70 degrees. So it can do a, a large amount of zoom now. The latter half of it from about 50 degrees on is not a focusable range, but you can open up and, and do a lot with it. As you can see there, the zoom. And so it's built to be very quiet, and there's a number of different models available. As I said, there's the tungsten and the arc, and the tungsten can either operate on its own with an internal dimmer, which is what this model is. It has a dimmer built in. Or you can purchase it without a dimmer and plug it into your dimmer system. So you can plug in the lamp directly to your standard dimmers in a theater, let's say, and run that independent. Uh, this is very, very common in theaters and in television, this product, because they like that it also has framing shutters and four rotating dobos. Of course, it has full color mixing abilities, and it also has a variable frost. Now, I should tell you that even though I said it has those things, there's also a model where it has an iris and it doesn't have the framing shutters. So if you want to use it more as a spotlight that you can't frame, but you want an iris, you have that choice as well. There's still a module you can't change between shutters and iris. Correct. You, you have to have the individual fixtures. So again, there's four rotating gobos that are uh, indexable and rotating as well. Uh, what's the tungsten like in the, is that a 12 inch of water? Or yes. It's a, not an 80 volt one though. Uh, there is an 80 volt available. Okay. I don't remember if it's available in the 230 range. Oh, okay. You if, if it's 80 volt, 1200 there is. The one that was in the real yeah, five. It's actually, we don't use the 80 volt. Yeah, no, no. We offer oh, it at one time oh. in the VL500. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but the lamp life was crap. Uh -huh. to put it and so uh, you, a lot of a lot of modern users saw that same problem with the TW1. Yeah. And the 80 volt lamp was just completely unstable. So most manufacturers have withdrawn manufacturing luminaires that use that lamp. So we use a, uh, we offer a 100 volt version for the Japanese market, a 120 volt version for the U.S. market, and a 230 volt version for the 230 volt. It's all in tungsten. The, five, the ARC version, the 575, obviously has a universal ballast that you can work in. And the unit is convection cooled as well, so that's what helps with the quiet. Greg, what's the weight on that unit? You're going to ask me in, in kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm just coming just to the well, I, can, I can tell you, I, I have it. I want to say it's around 70 pounds. Yeah, roughly 70 pounds. Yeah. Obviously, this is uh, food for thought for us to add all the waste to. It's alcohol. 70 pounds, 32 kilos. <laughs> yeah, 72 pounds. 70 to 72, depending on the model. Yeah, the arc, arc is a little bit heavier because it has an external ballast that weighs about uh, 15 pounds. That hangs next to the unit. So the ballast is a 70-point clock. Metric scale. And when you come up and look at it, you'll also see that this product has a very small hanging point on it. That the electronics are all in the yoke doesn't have a big top box on it, so another thing to note, so that when you're hanging it on a pipe in a theatrical situation, it's not taking up a lot of extra space. It's a really good light for, for television and theater, as Brad mentioned, you know, and, and the improvements that were done between the 1000 and the 1100, 
were mainly with respect to uh, improved stepper rotor control and a new rotating gobo assembly, assembly to, again, lessen the overall noise of the unit. Because this unit, as you can see, it's very, very quiet. Um, so TV, theater designers love it. It's kind of the default standard around the world. It's uh, over the course of our uh, uh, of the history of this unit has been our most consistent seller. You know, it's frankly the default standard for moving live ellipsoids in the world, and uh, just a great, great unit. And uh, you know, again, one of our most our most popular popular luminaires of the world. Does it use the same accessories as? Um, as a 1000, so top hats. Yeah, well, I mean, those. yeah, again, City Theatrical and other accessory manufacturers can fit that into the, uh, the accessory holder in the front. We don't necessarily offer that uh, because we allow other manufacturers who produce them in higher volume to offer them at better pricing. Uh, but if you wanted to put, uh, you know, color correction filter, which I don't know why you would need that, because if you're picking a device, you're going to pick a tungsten unit or an arc unit, but you could color correct depending upon what luminaire you chose. Uh, that would be that what those uh, frame would be for. It's also got a great frost, so um, you know that's one of the things that is really good about the VL880 as well. It is, um, and as uh, uh, David pointed out, excuse me, not David. Okay. Eddie, <laughs> close, and uh, and that's the nice thing about the 1100 as well. So you can uh, get both doubles as a hard edge device and a washer. 